Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto and welcome to my VVVV Beta graphics tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make these. Go back. Okay. So what it's basically doing here is I'm, I'm using two nodes called Contour and Convex. So what Contour does is it picks up, uh, it converts, it picks the interesting pixels and then converts that to a value so that you can use it to generate mesh and things like that. And what Convex O is doing is, so this guy's uh, picking only the outer points. So right now, as you see, this point node is uh, generating, uh, it's, it's visualizing all the points that came from Contour, but I don't need all of them to generate these lines because I only want the outer boundary to be visualized. So for that, Convex hole calculates it and sees, okay, these ones are the outer ones, and then it only outputs those. So then if I connect these to spline buffer, then you can actually create this green uh, lines and also this polygon. This blue one is generated for using convex tool as well. So we're going to learn how to make these. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, oh, so what I basically wanted to share is these kind of visuals. So uh, this one, it's not exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's not exactly the same as I'm uh, sharing in today's tutorial. But I'll, sh I'll, I'll also share how you could actually reach this point after the tutorial. So please keep that in your mind. But I really like how it looks like because it looks like it's interacting to the image, but it's actually just the footage. And so Contra is picking the interesting point so that it looks like something, even though it's a uh, shot in footage, you can still do this kind of stuff. And you can also apply these to interactive installations. So if you're for using, for example, like you want a live video feed and make some sort of like effect on top of a chaos of the person you can use these also if you want to make a like rough mask on top of people you can also do that kind of stuff to avoid someone from the video so i think this this technique is quite helpful so i'll share you how to do that for this tutorial so you'll need vvv packs image and this one is quite tricky some for some platform it sometimes doesn't work and i also had i think i shared this one in my previous tutorial but i had some feedback that didn't work for them so uh, I hope it works for you. If it doesn't, please read uh, all these comments carefully and find out the way you can solve it. I remember it took a bit of time for me to solve this as well. And also, as usual, DirectX 11 nodes, this one is not that complicated. Just download it and put it in your pass folder and it should work. Okay, so let's get started. Save this one. And start from scratch. So as always, render and then uh, group then I'll just put some uh, for today I don't need access and grid so I'll just do this and the first thing I'll need is a file text or no uh, file stream so I need to play a video for the background if you have a camera uh, just use video in with this one you should be able to uh, yeah, get your camera. Right now I'm using the camera for this tutorial so I can't turn it on. So I'll use file stream instead. Uh, so I'll go to my folder and find out the video that I was using for this. Uh, the same one as yesterday. Uh, so, okay. And then I'll add a full screen quad. So full screen quad. And then I'll connect file stream here to the bottom layer oh I need three four layers I think so I'll make uh, four groups and then file stream right now it's not showing anything and that is because play is off so I'll right click play and then I'll make sure that loops as well okay so the video is set I'll make this one a bit longer okay okay so this is the starting point so what I'm gonna do is wait, let me open up the patch that I made already so what we're doing today is first of all I need to find out how I can connect contour to this so I, I so I already have this image then I want uh, contour to pick an interesting point so I'll just get contour out so contour if you have the, the PAX image installed correctly then you should get this contour node without getting it red so 
then I want to input an image however I can't connect anything here because uh, this one is based on OpenCV and it's it doesn't support texture instead of that you need to use this node called as image uh, texture 2d I don't know why I have two of them and only one of them works but I need this one and this one converts uh, texture to an image which is basically form a for uh, to a format that OpenCV uh, this Pax image thing can work okay so we need this as image node and then once you see it okay so counter is already outputting something however I uh, to get the point position we need to use this use this node called parameter I don't know what it's doing what what this does but I always need this so I just remember that I need it once this is there I connect this to, to parameter output from counter and then we have all the positions that we need so let's see how that goes so just to preview I'll add a node called point and this point uh, dx 11 2d and then I should connect this one okay and then I'll bring this to the group okay now I see that it's already visualizing the point uh, I think the point is too big so I'll make a bit smaller okay. okay this is better okay now so I see it's getting the point but it's not the full body and I think that's because this contrast on this image is too high so to avoid that what I'll do is I'll add a texture effects called threshold and Let's see what that does. Uh, okay, so right now it's too dark, but if I change the value in threshold, uh, I think this threshold value to down. It basically, I think this threshold. I'm not really sure, but this threshold of node. Uh, how to say? Um, I'm not sure how to explain this, but it, but my, I, my, as you see, it converts all the image to black and white, and you can actually say okay i want more points i want more gray points to be white like you can you can slide that kind of thing so right now this looks better so i'll connect this one to, as image again and put full screen back to file stream okay now i got more points so it's easier for me to uh generate a mesh out of it however uh, you have to be careful that this counter thing right now my background my image of uh, the image uh, my background is uh black so it gets not too many points but still it's almost ten thousand points and this counter thing crashes if it goes too high and if your computer can't handle so for that what i would do is i'll i'll set a resolution for this threshold out so i'll set this one use default size on and right now this resolution default size is uh, 256 by 256 I think this is too high so I'll just put it down to 100 and as you see now I have I have less point and my computer seems to be happier okay so this is good be careful for some of you who have already followed this tutorial you might have had your uh, patch crashed already because I connected it without doing this uh, I hope it didn't but for some of you probably it did so just make sure that you follow this tutorial and you do this and then you connect this to us image I forgot to mention that first okay so now I have all these points that I need so what I'll have to do is uh, add convex hole 2d Later on, I'll explain a little bit about 3D, but today we're using 2D. And then this one has X and Y and bin size input, so I don't have to change the bin size. Since minus 1 means it's going to automatically cal calculate the bin size for you. And for the X and Y, I just have to connect these and split it to 2, and then I input it here. So now, sort of like I already sort of see the output let's see how it's going so I'll add a vector to the join and then I'll connect these to here and then again I'll connect these to points okay as you see I already got 
only the outer points so if I switch between these two so this is the amount of points that are coming out from counter uh, through convex hull now it only has uh, around 10 or 20 uh, points so this is basically it now what I have to do is just have to, just have to connect uh, these as a line or as a polygon so first I'll do with it polygon so I'll need a constant uh, dx11 effects and then I connect this one here and then there's a node called polygon hey, hey. I don't need you that hey, hey. okay so dx11 geometry 2d so I'll connect this guy and then I'll put it here and this polygon things has vertices input so I'll connect uh, this one here and then it also needs a vertex count but convex hole outputs the vertex count so just connect this guy here so here we go so now we're done generating a, a white mesh or geometry out of this so if you want to use this one for something else you can use it this one is a geometry so it's a generative geometry looks really nice so now this girl is hidden so this is the first goal that i wanted to reach i'll just add a blend on top of it and change the mode to blend mode and by doing this you can add a uh, color uh, alpha on top of it so with these i'll make it blue so i'll just red zero blue uh, green zero and then red one and then i'll lower down the alpha without using this blend node you can't make it alpha so make sure that you have this blend node up there so now I've got a blue uh, mesh on top of this lady. So, yep. So last thing to do, I'll add a spline. Uh, in my example image, I had a spline buffer connected, but I already did explain about spline buffer for today. I'll do it with line. Um, so I'll, for line, I would need uh, vertices X, Y, Z. So what I have to do is I'll do a ver vector 3D join and then I'll add vector X and vector Y and keep Z as blank. It's getting a bit messy. Okay, so now I have vector 3D join. So I'll connect this one here. And then I also have to make sure that the design node has two mode. One is this from two and then the other one is by single input so I'll turn this single input thing on and then I'll connect this one here okay here we go so I already got lines connected to the outer boundary of this dancer okay this is this was super fast so I want these points to visualize the one that's from counter, so I'll just connect this one. Okay, I think now uh, it's not working well. Okay, I turned it off. I needed uh, so I need vector two D join for the polygon, but I don't need that for the point. Okay, so yeah, this was basically it for what I was to explain for today. So by using this counter node and convex hole. You can create this kind of uh, visual, which for me is very interesting. And uh, so you can do this kind of things with your live input. With, you can also do these with mesh. I mean, this convex hole node can be applied for whatever. So if you follow my bullet physics tutorial, there's also a node called convex hole. What it does is basically the same. So you, if you have a random node, and if you want them to, if you want to generate the mesh out of uh, only the outer points then you just have to connect convex hole and output those and recreate a mesh out of it okay so this was it for today and in addition to this uh, I'll explain another thing so in my previous post on uh, not this one uh, the one that I showed so in previous post this one made that I posted on Instagram I wasn't using this one, but instead of that, I was I created this using convex hole 3D, which is this one. 
Oh, it's showing red. I don't know why. Does it have a help patch? Yeah, it does. So this one is the one that I was using. And if you open up the help patch, you can see uh, what it's doing. So there's a random point, like multiple random points. And then, I mean, there's a mouse input, but I don't think we need the mouse input right now. Uh, and then Convexo is outputting the three-dimensional, uh, Convexo out of three-dimensional point. And then it's creating a mesh out of it. But this one is made in uh, DX9. So you have to find a way how to convert this to DX11 version. There is a really nice sample patch for that. Uh, if you type flat normal, This one is actually using convex holes, so flat normal. If you have instance noodle, you need instance noodle for this. So I'll 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 put the link for instance noodle below. So if so if you have this, you should have a node called uh, flat normal. And if you open the help batch of this, it's not showing up. Okay. Okay. And if you open up the help patch for flat normal, it says. So this guy is also doing the convex hole, but then it's recreating a geometry using index geometry buffer. And the reason why I avoided doing the 3D thing is because then I also need to explain this and it's kind of like a bit complicated. You have to specify like what kind of values you have and how many of them. So text, so position has X, Y, Z, so it's zip to three. And then um, texture chord is only two, so RG, so it's two. And you also have to make sure that vertices count and everything's correct. So I wanted to avoid explaining this one, so I didn't put that into this tutorial. But uh, if you're brave enough to play with this, just try connecting, uh, just try uh, copy pasting these to the patch that we made today and see if it works or not. I remember this 3D convex hole thing was quite a bit tricky. If you have some values in zero, it just shows red. So make sure that you play around and see how you can make it work. I'm not going to explain this for today, but if some of you really want to learn how to do this kind of stuff, please uh, let me know on your, the comment. Uh, I might have some time to, to create that for you. So, yep, that was it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.